Thank you, Madam Speaker. Uh, last week on this floor, for my colleagues um, across the aisle, so to speak, they put forward a new slogan, better policy based on science, better guidance based on fact. And as a physician and scientist, I love this. Governor Brown's conditions for lifting county risk levels and associated safety precautions is straightforward. 70% of Oregonians 16 and older need to, re to, need to have received their first dose of the COVID vaccine. We expect that this vaccination rate, in light of falling COVID numbers, will prevent significant spread of the virus that causes COVID because it does not spread among those who are vaccinated, as described by the representative from Medford on this floor earlier this week. I've heard the argument that we've basically reached the governor's threshold of 70% if we include the 20% of Oregonians who have had COVID. Right away, I need to flag that thankfully, 20% of Oregonians have not had COVID. Indeed, if 20% of Oregonians had contracted COVID, instead of the actual number, which is less than 5%, we would have seen four times more deaths we would have lost over 10,000 lives from COVID in Oregon instead of the still heartbreaking number of 2,600. I thank Oregonians for the sacrifices they've made to keep our case count and our death count among the lowest in the country. 60% of Oregonians over 16 have received at least one dose of the vaccine and several counties have reached the 65% mark that allows them to move to lower risk zone with its relaxed restrictions. In fact, I bought Blazers tickets for my son on Saturday. And the governor's measures, including cash lotteries and college scholarship incentives and improvements in vaccine access, aim to accelerate these numbers to reach our 70% goal. Let's, let's remember we're talking about less than 5% of Oregonians who have recovered from COVID, and many of those have already received the vaccine. So in short, it is not accurate nor appropriate to add these folks, making up just a few percent to the already vaccinated to inches closer to 70%. The science is clear and the math backs it up. Let's keep encouraging people to get vaccinated. Let's make it easier than ever to get vaccinated so we can slow COVID spread and fully reopen for business and learning. Thank you. Thank you, Representative.